The biggest Marvel Strike Force question in my mind right now is what is the unlock method for the Invisible Woman? I want to know right now. So guess what we're talking about in this video plus Alliance War Leagues. Is this a good thing? All of that is coming up guys. So if you're ready, let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. what is up valley maniacs valley fighting here i am back welcome to the channel and i am here with the self-described bearded vampire ginger friend of mine combs what's up brother how are you doing what up hello valley maniacs and valley and anyone else who finds himself here comb maniacs as well how are you guys it's been a while how, how have you been dude everything's crazy i've been been all over the place but i'm good i'm good. here <laughs> i am glad that you are good now before we get started the main topic of this video and that is with the rumors about invisible woman and we're also going to talk about some changes that are coming to alliance war what this could all mean uh i want to ask you one question combs can Got you it. see my screen no all right can you see it yes. now i can see how it now. is your thing how is my thing? How is your thing? <laughs> very, uh, very small compared to yours. Oh, <laughs> well, let me, uh, you can see my screen, right? I'm going to do this. Yeah, I can, I can see your thing. All right. What do you think about this that you see on the screen right now? And, uh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? You, you can see that on the screen, right? Yeah. Why are they different sizes? They should be the same size. What the heck? They? Or or the green one a lot bigger. What what the heck is that? Yeah, I was gonna say because Hulk I don't know. is way bigger than him, right? It should be. Pretty Come on, sure Fox is. next. Come on, Fox Fix next. This. Same character Fix models, but different this. sizes. Fix this. All right. <laughs> On to a more serious topic. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the rumor mill. We got some juicy, juicy rumors. Oh, and by the way, yes, I am on Blue Stacks, and you can support the channel. If you click on the link in the description, you can play Blue Stacks on your computer for free, and the channel does get credit. Valley Merch, there's also a link for that, and Patreon channel. All right, the passive four invisible woman. When an enemy attacks a Fantastic Four ally with barrier, attack that enemy for 250% damage, gain 20% max health. Fantastic Four and Namor allies gain 20% max health. She is looking to be a very, very good character. A lot of their kits look incomplete. She's looking to round out that squad. So let's address the rumors about the Invisible Woman. First one I want to talk about is the Unlock Method. There was a data mine going around that showed her as a seven star unlock. Do you think that this was accurate or this was just a placeholder that we were seeing and she will be either a five or six star unlock? I hope it's not true. I mean, I think that legendary character should be released at five star. And then if it's something that's going to be beyond that, it should have a different name. Um, and it shouldn't be legendary, but it could be like, I don't know what it could be. Extremely legendary. Extreme <laughs> legendary Extreme characters. <laughs> All right, yeah, but yeah, I think I think a five or six star unlock for her, depending on who the characters are, uh, is proper. Not a seven star unlock. Uh, obviously, we don't know her full kit, but her passive and the rest of the Fantastic Four makes it look like she will be very, very strong. Uh, and mm -hmm. let, let's get into the more juicy of the two rumors. Not just the stars for her unlocking. Which characters? And there's a bunch of rumors floating around. There's a bunch mm -hmm. all over Discord channels. Uh, but there's one that you're seeing a little bit more than some others. You want to talk about the rumor that you're seeing right now? Yes, I mean, my thought is, and this makes sense to me, I've seen this rumor around a lot, Discord, Reddit, um, Twitch chat, YouTube comment sections, uh, back alleys, um, you know, where, wherever <laughs> you find rumors. Um, I've heard this one is that it's possible that she could be unlocked by legendary characters. Ooh. The reason for that is because, like, it's the 80th anniversary whatever and it would be like oh these iconic characters to unlock this 80th anniversary <laughs> character so. is that Kermit the Frog <laughs> <laughs> it sure is buddy hidey ho, <laughs> Hi -ho. <laughs> all right I, I, I totally agree with you though I think that makes sense 80th anniversary uh, I know those rumors about that in another game I play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and never happened up until the point that I stopped playing uh, I don't know if it's happened since then but uh, it never happened there. It would be kind of cool to have it happen here, in my opinion. 
uh, for a lot of older players, it's kind of like, hey, you get this legendary character. You could go uh, use your Fantastic Four team. For some of the newer players, not exactly the most newer player friendly, but you know, there should be some end game content. I feel that people should be striving for. Um, but I, I think that's a kind of a cool method. You know, you need to be playing the game for a while before you get a certain character. Now, I don't know if Invisible Woman is the one to do it on, but I, I wouldn't be opposed to it being like that. Right. Uh, it feels kind of weird that she's the legendary character instead of somebody like, I don't know, say Doctor Doom, maybe. Um, that's kind of my thought. It seems like he would be more of a legendary character for a Fantastic Four like era team. But. He's, I, I would agree with you not knowing as much about the comic lore, but from a lot of the comments that I've read on my videos, it seems like she is the strongest Fantastic Four member by far. And oh. it's from what they were writing, it seems like she it's, it's very fitting that she's the uh, strongest one and she's the legendary character. So I don't know. I'm, I haven't really read a lot of Fantastic Four comics back in my day, but... Yeah. That's that's well. That's good for good for you guys. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, I, I've heard a different rumor. I, I've been seeing okay, a lot of on. rumors on the channels in my Discord about uh, Sinister Six. A lot of people asking about Sinister Six. It would be it would be unprecedented for them to release a faction this fast and have them required for a legendary event. <clears throat> Plus, you could also unlock Shuri with them if. Um, that w if they were the unlock which means you could unlock two legendary characters with the same team pretty much uh how high do you think this is on the validity scale do you think this is something that is very likely not likely or um uh, just it's gonna happen well i didn't uh put together that you would also be able to unlock shuri with them that kind of makes me just discount it a bit more because then like newer players, like they won't have to farm Spider-Verse and Sinister Six. They would just only farm Sinister Six. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, unless they like said like Spider-Verse villains or something, then I guess that would make more sense. But I don't know, for me personally, I just kind of look at it and say, well, I mean, why would they give you a team that could do something that you needed two teams before that you could spend money on? I, that, yeah. um, I don't expect that, but I could be wrong. I'm happy to be... No, I'm not happy to be wrong. I'd really like to be right about this because <laughs> if it's possibly a seven-star unlock with Sinister Six... Oh, I mean, that would be I'm horrible. Not... That would be horrible if all of the rumors are true. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> all right, but here, here's terrible. the thing. It's, it's a, I, I feel it's a double-edged sword if they do the Sinister Six. This is why. They, they're forcing a lot of people to spend money on, mm -hmm. on to get uh, the Invisible Woman right now. Uh, but then you could also unlock Shuri with the same squad. So right. you get the upfront money, but then you're kind of giving away Shuri with this thing. So I don't know. I, I, I gotta say, I gotta say from some of the people that I've been seeing post this in the different channels, it, it makes me think they might do this, but I'm actually hoping they do something totally different. Yeah, I mean, Shuri's value would be about based on getting her unlocked for free with another team. So yeah, I mean that's right. about how good good and useful she is. So if if there was one team that could unlock Invisible Woman, like given given like some realistic expectations, what Fox Next would do, what do you who do you hope it would be? Like just like realistically, like possible based someone on that they that would happening? said is likely they would do. So yeah, not like uh, Avengers or some something easy like that. Oh, I mean, the only thing that I think is uh, Wakanda, because they've been out for kind of like a proper period of time. They've been farmable for a bit. You know what I mean? But then, like, they then you would have to have Shuri to unlock Invisible Woman. And so maybe, like, if the Shuri event runs, or if we see it coming up soon before Invisible Woman comes out, um, I think I'd be putting on my, my thinking cap for that because it's possible. Um, and so, and we haven't had, I don't think, somebody correct me in the comments here if I'm wrong, but. I don't think we've had um, any characters that have not, like, no legendaries that needed a past legendary to unlock yet, have we? No, but uh, it's, a, it's a little weird with uh, Nick Fury and Iron Man because he's shield right. and Iron Man could use shields. So, but yeah, there's a lot of characters to, to select from yeah, in that, that instance. Count. But yeah, that would be kind of interesting. It would be kind of a hybrid of the rumors. You get some right. of the. Uh, legendariness with Shuri being in there. You get some of the farmability with some of these characters that have been out for a while. But 
if if we look at the data mine, we got a Magneto uh, legendary event coming up this week. The data mine mm -hmm. says we're getting a Star Lord next week. Uh, mm -hmm. Could we possibly have a Shuri one the week after that, followed by Sue Storm? I'm, I'm wondering if there's, there's, there is a little bit of weight to there just because of this, the the uh, a schedule that we have seen in a data mines. Yeah, I mean it, it's possible, and uh, I guess we'll we'll find out. We will, we will. Hopefully, it is sooner than later because I'm as curious as everybody else. Leave your comments, guys. What do you think will be the unlegendary? Uh, not the unlegendary, the legendary unlock or the invisible woman, uh, the star level and the characters. Let me know in the comments. Let's see who gets the best guess. Uh, next yep. topic though, Alliance War. It's looking like we are getting some leagues, some tier system of the rankings and the rewards. What are your thoughts on this? Very preliminary stages, very preliminary with announcements, but from what you've seen, what are, what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I'm hoping it will help balance uh, teams out a bit more um, or like matchups a bit more. Uh, it's going to be hard because you're going to have like those uh, teams that are at the top, like uh, Cabal and Pants of Hulk and stuff. And it's like, I don't know, like, are they just going to fight each other three times a week, every week? Um, <laughs> I don't know. At least if know, they like, did, at least they'd be getting good rewards for it, right? I mean, they would and they would also <laughs> be balanced because those are the only two alliances that yeah. can really kind of fairly fight each other, I feel like. Um, but it's like, I don't know, it's hard because it's like, I think it could be good for lower levels, but I don't know if it'll be as good for higher levels. And it's, I think it's gonna lead to like people like me. Do you know, is it based off of points or is it based off of like total GP? So from what I've gathered, and this could be totally off, but from what I've seen, it looks like you're getting points for everything you do in war. And if you don't score enough points, you're gonna get demoted to the lower league and get lower rewards next season. And if you do well, you'll get promoted to the next league up and get higher rewards next season. That's that's what I think it is. Uh, but again, the, the information is super preliminary at this point, and it could be right. something totally different than that. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I think I think overall it's a positive thing. Yeah, so do I. So. Let me know your thoughts on it, guys. You can see the screenshot that was posted by Cerebro uh, behind me. Let me know your thoughts on Alliance War changes. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Combs, thank you for joining me. Let everybody know where they could find you. All right, guys, yeah. you can find my YouTube channel, youtube.com uh -huh. slash C slash Combs 93. That's me, okay. big red beard man. Um, but most of the time, you find me hanging out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv uh, slash Combs 1993. We stream every day. We hang out. We have a great time. Awesome. Um, love to see you guys there. I would love to uh, see you guys there as well, and I'll try to be there little more myself and the links guys are going to be down below so make sure you check out his channel subscribe give him a subscribe and uh if you like this video give me a subscribe to <laughs> subscribe to this channel smash on the like button ring the bell guys join the notification squad check out some of the links down below and check out combs i will see you guys next time hulk fist bump do it with me combs valley right, flying do it. out <laughs>